When we get the guys out here and start demonstrating is as a base runner, and it, this is contrary to what a lot of people believe, you always have to know where the baseball's at when you run the bases. Sometimes that involves looking at the baseball. To be a good base runner, you have to look at the baseball sometimes. I know in Little League, when you're 12 years old, you're taught when you hit the ball, don't look at the ball. Find the base. Now, that might be okay in Little League, but as you progress and get a little bit older, it's a really uncomfortable feeling to run the bases not knowing where the baseball's at. So our rule number one of base running before we ever practice is every play that's made, we're going to know where the baseball is. Sometimes we have to look at the ball. Other times we don't have to look at the ball. The times we have to look at the baseball is when the defense is playing with it because what they do with the baseball, whether they field it or whether they miss it, dictates how we run the bases in a lot of instances. So as the ball gets to a defender, whether we're at the plate hitting a ground ball in the infield or we're running first to third on a base hit to center field, when the ball gets to a defender, we have to glance at the baseball without slowing down, which is something you have to practice uh, in order to take an extra base. If the ball is ever in flight, if it leaves our bat in the air, uh, we don't have to look at it as it's in flight. Nothing can happen to change the direction of the baseball uh, if we hit a fly ball to the outfield from the time we hit it until the time he catches it. Nothing can happen to the baseball from the time an outfielder releases it to the time it gets to a, uh, the guy who's going to catch it. Nothing really can happen to the baseball if we hit a ground ball between the time we hit it and the time the shortstop has to field it. But as the shortstop or the third baseman is fielding it, that's when we have to glance to see what happens because if he fields it, there's one particular way we've got to run. If he misses it, we've got to run an entirely different way.